ladies and gentlemen welcome back to today's tutorial sir isaac newton here um i hope you guys are enjoying our videos so if you're enjoying our videos just subscribe to our youtube channel so that anytime we post a new video you should be able to get a notification so in today's tutorial we are going to talk about how to find the term independent of x in the binomial expansion so how do we tend to find the term independent of x in any of the binomial expansion okay now one thing i want you to understand is this okay whenever we're talking about a term independent of x let's assume we have got an expression that is maybe 2x squared plus 2x then plus 4 in this in this case the guy that doesn't have x is 4 so 4 in that case we are going to say that that's the term independent of x but I'm not saying that it's a fourth term, no, it's just this is the term that doesn't have x. So a term that doesn't have x, initially it has x, but on that that x is raised to the power 0. Because if I tell you that 4 to the power 4x to the power 0, it's the same as any number to the power 0 is 1. So it's just 4. So a term independent of x is the term that has got x to the power 0. It's a term that doesn't have x because any number to the power 0 is 1. Come on, guys. So, we, you guys know that whenever we're talking about a term, there is a formula that I want you to understand. So, a term, term is given by R plus 1. But now, what is this R whenever we're talking about binomial expansion? So, if I have got A plus B raised to the power N. Now, this is given by N choose R, then A raised to the power N minus R, B to the power R. Okay, so now AR is just a number. Okay, it's just a number. Let's, let, I'll, I'll just say maybe if N is is 8, then I want to find R. Sometimes R is going to be just less than, if I want just to find it direct from here, it will be 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, until I reach at 5 choose, I, I reach at the 8, sorry, we're talking about 8 here, so it's going to be 8 choose 8. But anyway, forget about that. Now, this is the formula that we're going to be using. Now, we are assuming to say this is now x to the power 3 minus 2 over x all the way raised to the power 8. We want to find a term independent of x, the term that doesn't have x. Okay? So, this is going to be given by n in this case is 8. R we don't know. A is x to the power 3. Now, put them in the brackets. n is 8. R we don't know. What is my b? My b is negative 2 over x raised to the power r. What is r? r I don't know. Now, our goal first, we need first to find r. When we find r, it's going to be easy for us to find the term. Come on, guys. So how can I find the r? Now, we are only interested, remember, we are saying that the term independent of x is given by x to the power 0. So x to the power 0 is the term that doesn't have, um, it's a term that doesn't have x. Now, we need now to find the value of r. So, how are we going to find the value of r? Now, look at this, guys. To find the value of r, we are interested in x only. In this expression, where there is x, that's what we are, we are interested in. We can clearly see that the term that doesn't have x has got x to the power 0. That's what we have said. I mentioned earlier. So, then, I have got x to the power 3. 8 minus r which is this part here now how do i get this i want you to understand one thing you know when we have 2 negative 2 over x this is raised to the power r don't you know that this is the, basically the same as negative 2 times 1 over x then again everything raised to the power r so our interest anything i want you to understand that if you have got 1 over x is basically the same as x raised to the power negative negative r negative one like this but i'll just get the way it is so what i'm going to do here is i'll say times now here i've got uh one divided by x so we are only interested in x so this two i'm not going to, to focus on it no but i'm only interested in x so since i've got this part here one over one over um, x i'll leave it like that but it is raised to the power what is raised to the power r Okay, of which I know that sometimes I wanted just to I wanted to show you this. This is one over x, which is the same as x to the power negative one. So in short, 
This is basically the same as x times x raised to the power negative 1, but there is r outside, so it's the same as negative r. Now this should be equal to the term that doesn't have x has got x to the power 0, so I will equate this x to the power 0. That's the basic idea. Now if the bases are the same, we add the powers. So now this is x, this is 3 times 8, that is 24 minus 3r. Then I now add the power which is going to be minus r again is equal to x to the power 0. So if the bases are the same here, we cancel the base and we equate the powers equal to each other. So that becomes 24 minus 3r. So what is negative 3 minus 1 which is going to be negative 4r is equal to 0. So 24 will be equal to 4r divided by 4. I divide here by 4. r is going to be equal to uh, into 25 so that is 6 okay so my R value is 6 I'll put it here my R is 6 now what term what term is independent of X so the term is given by R is 6 plus 1 so it's actually the, th the seventh term the seventh term is the term that doesn't have x. But what 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 is that seventh term? Now I come back here and plug in the value of r. 8, r is now 6. I find the answer. So x to the power 3. Then 8 minus r is 6. Then negative 2 over x raised to the power 6. So 8 choose 6. Then this is 8 minus 6 is 2. So 2 times this is x to the power 6 then this is also negative 2 over it's basically the same as I open the brackets which is going to give me negative 2 raised to the power 6 divided by I divide this by x to the power 6 now look at this we are dividing so this x to the power 6 x to the power 6 can cancel and indeed this is a term that doesn't have x so negative 2 raised to the power 6 is 64 it's going to be positive 64 so what we have now is 8 choose 6. So we have 64 times 64. So now you need to find the exact value now of that. So we have 8 factorial. That's the formula. We know this. Then 8 minus 6 factorial, 6 factorial times 64. So 8 is the same as 8 times 7 times 6. Since there is already 6 factorial, I'll end there and six, put 6 factorial. This 8 minus 2 is 2 factorial. So 2 factorial times, again 6 factorial, then times here, 64. So 6 factorial will go. 2 factorial, now I've got 2 times 7 divided by 2 factorial is 2, then times 64. So 2 here, 1, 2 here, 4. So we have 4 times 7 times 64. So 4 times 7 is 28 times 64. So what is um, why, why are we saying 4 times? Yeah. So that one I think we are okay. So what I've done here, I've just divided this one here 4. So that becomes 28. So 28 times 64. So 28 times 64 that is 1,000, 1,992. So this is actually the term of that guy that doesn't have x. So how do you represent the answer? You need first to find the way I've done it. You find the R, find the term, seventh term. When you find that seventh term, you come back and plug in the value of R and find the exact value of that. But initially, this is the term in print of x. So this is how you answer such kind of question. So any question which comes to find the term in print of x, this is the method that you're supposed to use. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If at all you have enjoyed it, please try to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to access more advanced uh, binomial practice questions. I solved different questions under the same subtopic, the term independent of x and also other things on binomial. 
just register with Transcended and you you get access to the same videos. So I hope you are enjoying this video and um, I just want to show you something guys. So if you want to access uh, full um, videos just go on uh, YouTube. Ah, just on our website, search Transcend Institute, you'll be able to find our website. So here is our website, as you can see. So as you are, uh, you are, you are watching this video, which is, um, yeah, you are watching this video and you would like to access more videos, specifically on each topic that you want. So we have all the topics. So it require me to log in. I need to log in so that I'll be able to access these videos. So let me just log in. Just here, you see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, let me just log in here. I'll just log in. I'll just log in. Um, these, these are my details. When you, if you don't have an account, you can just create an account. Once you create an account, then you log in. Once you log in, guys, ah, it's, it's telling me that the password is wrong. Anyway, so I think it should be this. Okay, this should be the one. If this is going to fail, then I don't know. Yeah, it has. I've managed to log in. So now, logging in here, you can clearly see that I've got all the courses for mathematics, physics, biology, and chemistry. So these are the best uh, videos that can help you to understand everything in your NS um, journey and if you look at uh, if you click on math you'll be able to find uh, set theory complex numbers that is further functions all the topics now on top of that we have also solved the trough sheets from from trough sheet one up to the last trough sheet then you also have the past papers we also have the past papers that can help you to also understand more so without wasting much of your time, I want you guys to uh, create an account, register with Transcended Institute, and you'll be able to access more videos. If you want physics, physics we have also everything, as you can see here. So we have good dimension analysis, vectors, motion, Newton's laws of motion, projector motion, work energy and power, linear momentum, uh, rotation work energy and momentum, static equilibrium, mechanical properties of matter, vibration, and everything. So we also have some straw sheet. If you click on straw sheet, you'll be able to see the straw sheet here and also the past papers. If you go for chemistry, same applies. Same things are going to be. We are going to see the same things. Biology, same things. We have got straw sheet, full topic videos, and past papers. So without um, wasting much of your time, just take your time, learn at your own convenient time, make your own timetable, learn. At your own time and you're going to understand a lot of things okay so yeah that's what I wanted to show you okay